Trisha mentioned on her channel that she has been held for ransom before. There's too many weird situations. Hang on. Moral of the story, especially when you're female and only females understand this, the vulnerability we feel. You can say to yourself, I've been held at ransom. What she didn't mention was that she hasn't just been held for ransom once but multiple times, by multiple different people, in multiple different situations. I got kidnapped. I didn't get kidnapped. I got held ransom at Mexico. True story. I would never talk about this for this very reason. There was a resort opening two, two years ago. You have way too many stories. You I, got held ransom in Mexico? Swear. Tell me everything. Life, but I, I don't like to give people ideas because this is what's so fucking don't scary. Don't go to Mexico. I'm not. I'm I've done never going to Mexico. Mexico again. Never. Yeah, I'll never. But I was posting for this resort and you know what? It's a chain hotel. It was a big chain hotel. They invited you there? Yeah. Nobody was there, right? And the someone fucking ransomed your ass? What city were you in? We were in like next to, right next to the Cabo one. Is it, is it Cabo? Not Cabo. Cosmo. Cosmo? Cosmo? Is it? I don't know. No. It's like a big oh. one. It's like one where they have resorts. Puerto Vallarta. Not Puerto Vallarta, but it's one with the sea, so it might have been Cosmo. Not Cabo. 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 Not Cabo. It's, okay, whatever. You were in Mexico. <laughs> no, maybe it was Cabo. Anyway. <laughs> okay, it's in Cabo. And it was, and we were going to the van from the hotel that the hotel was gonna provide us back to the airport. Mm -hmm. So I'm posting for them, they're like, hey, we'll give you like a free stay, like come post for us. So I'm posting, right? And so obviously people are seeing like my Instagram and they saw that I just bought a Lamborghini, like all this stuff. So mm -hmm. they're seeing like all this stuff. And it was so weird. Nobody else was at this resort, nobody. There was construction going mm. on. The food was like frozen pizza. Do you think they, they set rest. you up? Frozen pizza? Literally frozen the pizza. Fuck? And Did, we, Was it good? Huh? Was the pizza good? No, it was all horrible. It was really, really bad. And I don't really like to share the story because I just don't like to give like the details of it because it's honestly, it was honestly the most like the scariest thing in my life. But we were held at gunpoint to get money. They needed us to get money out and I couldn't get the transfer. They wanted like, they wanted like $100,000 and I couldn't do it. And then they they wanted me to get out at the ATM first of all. And I was like, okay, there's no way. Obviously gonna, not. I'm not yeah. gonna get that. They're like, get 20000 out of the ATM. I'm like, I have to physically go inside and get the money. So we ended up wiring the money like it was so scary they literally like left us on a ditch they had like literally a gun to my head like i i just don't really like like i literally don't i like can't believe you never talked about you never talked about this i don't like giving people ideas i don't like like i i'm very paranoid for this reason and this happened another time i got held at a gunpoint in my house and it was the same thing where it like they did i'm like take whatever take whatever and they were like no you have to wire me money so there's two times that i was held what is that for ransom i don't know what that is but it was to and, robbery so my dad too yeah. my dad has money and people know this like he sold his company for a shit ton of money really like, your dad's ago. rich so huh. my dad has money and they were like you so the same thing had happened to me when i was younger like when i lived with him like 19 and it's happened so many times she claims that she was held for ransom at gunpoint in Mexico, that she was held for ransom at gunpoint in her home, and that she was also held for ransom at gunpoint when she was 19 living in her father's home. Not one single time was it reported to the police, yet she broadcast all of this to millions of strangers on a podcast after claiming she was too afraid to talk about it. What are the chances that Trisha has been held for ransom this many times in her life? It's about as likely as the odds of her being touched by not just one but every single teacher she ever had throughout school. Just like she's claimed before.